You can go to the <laughs> Oh, I love you, Linky. Love you. Have a good day at therapy. You say bye. Yeah. Bye. I'm going to therapy. It's gonna be so fun. Um. Here we go. Oh, high five. <laughs> Can't forget our book, huh? <laughs> So that's what books. I need. Here, you want some you water too? Book? Here's your water. You're good to go. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, Lincoln. Bye, babe. Love you. See you in a bit. Bye, Linky. Bye. Bye bye. Love you. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a beautiful day here in the Nashville area. Steven is taking Lincoln to therapy real quickly, and he has a really short session. It's just occupational therapy today, so it's just about a 45 minute session, so they'll be back soon. But I've just been cleaning all morning. We are in the RV full time right now, and so I'm trying to just stay on top of all of the messes and the moving and the clutter and all of that, trying to get really organized. And so I figured it'd be really fun today to show you guys a few of the things that I have picked up from like Target and Amazon to try to stay really organized and things that are just really helpful for our family to function in a very small space because there are nine of us in this RV. And it is a pretty big RV. There are two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, so I feel like it has a really good flow, but um, it's still an RV and it's still a lot of people in here. So um, I'm gonna show you a few things that I think are really handy, things that we are putting to good use um, and using for organizing. A lot of you guys are asking questions about what it's like to function in an RV and how are we doing. That's probably the biggest question that Steven and I are getting um, all the time. It's just, how are you guys doing? Because obviously it's a huge, huge transition um, to move from a you know 3,700 square foot home into a tiny little RV. So um, yeah, we're, we're doing okay and it's fun and it's an adventure and we just keep reminding ourselves this is temporary and you know you make some sacrifices here and there so that in the long term you can get the things that you really want. And so we're really excited about the home renovation and the progress that's happening there. And it's really cool to just be on site here where we can kind of be overseeing things and working and getting started on some projects around the property. Um, and so that's gonna be really, really cool. But I wanted to show you a few of these things and then Steven's gonna get home with Lincoln and we're gonna do something really special with the kids this evening. They've very much been looking forward to. So let's jump into this. Also guys, I wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who was uh, praying for us and just the well wishes from last video because you guys know that was just a really, really hard transition with moving and all of my dental pain and it was just honestly just a very very difficult weekend for us but I'm feeling much better now and so um, yeah just have like a lot of work to restore all my dental health but thankfully I'm not in pain anymore so that's the big thing so thank you everyone for your love and support on that because we definitely felt that during that really challenging weekend so thank you. Hi Sable! Well guys I said it was a short therapy session and it really was they are back before I even jumped into this video. <laughs> Yeah. Linky's waving. Hi! Did you have a good time? That's so good. Still has to go really well today with color. Oh, yeah. We're really trying to get him to like hang on to a crayon for longer than four ah! seconds because yeah. he just likes to pick him up and put him back down like after one thing. Yeah. And that they're trying to do it with singing Ooh. because he loves to sing. And so You're ready to get out, aren't you? He has a hard time getting out of here. Yeah. Versus this is a little van. smaller than the van. Up, up. up. Do you hear that? Yeah. Up, up. He's saying, help me get up. Oh, she his did foot. Say, she did say he's starting to say help. Help? Like very Mom. obviously help. Help. Not, I've not noticed it sounds like that. I just didn't know if that's what he was yeah. meaning by it. Wow. Look at you, Mr. Independent. Wow. Ah, and you come bringing coffee. Come Reese bringing had one too, right? I brought you a pear toast. Yummy. Ah. I brought an iced coffee as well. Nice. So all you running good. away? He's like, Mom, don't you notice that I'm running away and you're supposed to chase me? <laughs> Hi, baby. I miss you. Even though you were gone for less than an hour. <laughs> yeah. Reese has been working hard on her school stuff this morning, so I'm sure she'll appreciate it. And I did a lot of cleaning, babe. Yeah. I Which, got, you know, goes pretty quick because it's a tiny space. <laughs> it does, but it's like, it makes such a huge difference yeah. in such a small space. Yeah, you it's gotta so stay. We keep getting all these texts that people are like, you okay? Right. I'm like, 
Yeah, we're good. And it's not about like um, your teeth. It's not about Amanda's teeth, guys. It's right. like they're checking to make sure we're like still sane living in an RV. We're, <laughs> right. like, we're good, dude. Like this is like our dream. Like we've yeah. been wanting to do this for a long time. But and also, it's just, like, I feel like we've always been a little crazy. So yeah. you know, this isn't making us crazy yeah. because we're already there. It was you know? cracking. <laughs> we did marriage counseling yesterday. Our marriage counselor. You okay? <laughs> and then like, yeah. All of our friends. You okay? <laughs> uh -huh. This is so funny, dude. Yeah. This is good stuff. Ah, are you stuck? That's the one thing about these steps, guys, is that like there's a handle way up there. It's super narrow. He but has a hard time yeah, he can't. He has to scoot, you know, which is not ideal because we obviously want him to be walking. So if he holds our hand, he can go up and down. But when he's just trying to be super independent. To build a rail. That's yeah. actually a really good idea. I bet you we could build something yeah. to help him. Just be more independent. Are you <laughs> Lincoln? <laughs> I will get in there. <laughs> yeah, let me cut it. Up, up, up. I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. Hi, <laughs> cute kitty. Out here. Oh, that is so good. Oh. Guys, like, I know Amanda is getting ready to like jump into this whole haul for you guys, but I wanted to just say, we wanted to just say, happy Diwali to all of our people who are Aww. celebrating that. I know it's a huge time of the year for you guys, and so we just want to say awesome. we love you beautiful people. Hope it's the best Diwali ever, and uh, yeah. So. That's so sweet. A lot of you guys are probably noticing we still do not have our L-shaped couch that was supposed to come with our RV. We have been going back and forth with the dealership that we uh, ordered it from and they are trying to resolve this issue for us. They're not telling us no, it's just very difficult. This has been a I'm having process. to be the persistent widow who just every single day texts and calls over and over and over again. That's a Bible reference if you guys don't know. Yeah, but like, know. <laughs> like some people are probably like, what, like, what in the, the heck world is the persistent about? widow? Yeah, um, but yeah. <laughs> Give me my he's, way. He's, Give me my justice. He's having to be very <laughs> persistent and just following up. And I know that they're busy and they've got a lot of things going on. So we're probably not like top priority, but um, we really want this to be fixed because that is something that is, was really important to us. Yeah. And so um, we're still on top of that. It's supposed to be resolved soon. We're really hoping for that. Um, but we'll keep you guys updated because this is not what we want to have long term. Yeah. Um, so we're trying to just be patient and persistent. And, and just to clarify, like we're not switching out RVs. We're yeah. literally just switching out couches. So yeah, they can you guys do that. Asked, have they changed out your RV yet or whatever? We're keeping this RV. We're just changing yeah. out couches. And we've already moved in, so that would that would be really difficult to switch out the whole RV. Oh my god. But um, but yeah, we want to get that fixed up. Mr. Lincoln is having his snackies. Yeah. Oh, good. Got some okay. sparkling water and some strawberries, and then he's gonna go down for a nap in just a minute. And so that's probably the first thing I'm gonna show you guys because a lot of you guys have been really curious about uh, where's Lincoln sleeping because we've got like this big bunk room over here that has a lot of bunk beds that all the kids are on minus Reese and Lincoln um, and so Reese is supposed to be on the L-shaped couch this uh, table does convert to a bed it's not a very long bed um, yeah. so eventually she'll just be on the couch um, and then Lincoln is actually in our room with us and we have found this really cool portable yes. bed for toddlers or kids that have just outgrown <laughs> like a porta crib <laughs> Sable has climbed onto this bed. But I wanted to show you, this is really cool. I had to look a really long time for something like this because a lot of, they have a lot of products for babies, like portable cribs and that kind of thing, which, yeah, babe, you're reading a book. Lincoln used a portable crib for the longest time, but he's too long now, so um, he just couldn't do that. But we didn't want like an inflatable bed that is kind of constantly like, <laughs> He's so excited, guys. Um, he he. We didn't want to do like an inflatable bed that would be constantly losing air and that kind of thing. So we found this one that folds up and it's foam and it has a bumper all the way around. And he's been sleeping great on it. Let me show you how this thing works. Okay, guys. So this is a foldable foam toddler bed, and it's actually pretty long. It's much longer than Lincoln is, and so it works well for him. But you can actually fold it up like this. It has handles. Yes, can you say bye? Uh, you can actually fold it up. It has handles right here and some Velcro so that it doesn't come apart while you're carrying it. So that's really nice. Yeah, Linky. You like your bed? Lincoln likes his bed. So if you take the Velcro off on both sides here, then it can fold out like so. I'm gonna put it on the ground and show you guys exactly how it works. So when it folds out like this, it's actually pretty long. Can you guys see 
how long this bed is. I don't know if you can see, there you go. You see the end of it there. So it has about a two inch thick mattress here that is foam and super, super soft. And then a border all the way around that is also foam. And Lincoln loves it. He's sleeping so well in this bed. So we just have like a cozy little uh, pillow and blanket and all of that. And he sleeps in our room with us. And it was honestly one of my biggest concerns was how Lincoln was gonna be able to sleep and how all the rest of us would be able to sleep because if Lincoln's not sleeping, we're not gonna be sleeping either. And so he is historically a good sleeper. He'll sleep like 13 hours at night, uh, but without having his own quiet space, I just didn't know if it was gonna work. And so um, we tried this one out. It's been amazing. He's sleeping through the night, every single night. And so, so far so good. All the kids are sleeping well in their bunk beds and Lincoln's doing well in his bed. And so I'm very thankful to have found this. This was on Amazon. I think it was about $100, maybe a little bit more than that, but well worth the money. Very comfortable for him, cozy, warm. It's like a plush material and also the fact that it can fold up and be put out of the way during the day so you still have that walk space is just so key when you're in a small space like an RV but it would also be great if you're traveling for vacations or for business or that kind of thing it would be great to put into a hotel um, for kids who are just a little bit too big for cribs so highly recommend this I'll try to put some of these items like linked in the description box because this one was seriously such a good find so Steven's taking Lincoln for a quick walk because he is being very energetic in this RV, which is hard to talk to the camera. Um, so they're going for a quick walk. And this is amazing, guys. I don't know if this is gonna translate on there. Obviously, we've already bit into it. But this, um, what was it called, Reese? It's like a it's goat like cheese. A, it's brie and pomegranates and spiced pear. Brie, pomegranates, and spiced pear. It's like a fall toast. I think it's on sourdough bread. Ah, oh, so good. It's from our favorite um, coffee shop, Brasshorn, and they have so many good things. I love their avocado toast, but we decided to branch out today and try a different toast, and this one is like the perfect fall toast. So super, super yummy. Now let's get back into the rest of this haul. Okay, so before we move into some of the organizational stuff, I wanted to show you these because I picked up a bunch of these for the bunk beds for the kids. They are all matching, which is great because there's a very small space there and so you want it to kind of look a little cohesive at least. Um, and they're super, super warm. So I got these off of Amazon. They were not expensive. It was like maybe $30, $35 each. And so it's like a plush material, gray on one side and then this kind of furry white on the other side, which is really great because the weather is starting to get pretty cold here and we do have a really good heating system here. So that's really good but I do want the kids to have really cozy, warm blankets on each of their bunk beds as well. So this was a good find on Amazon for non-expensive bedding. And yeah, just super plush, super thick and warm and cozy. And so we are loving these. This is a laundry bag that we got that I think is really good because you can just fold it and put it into a small space if you need to, it's not in the way, but it has a couple of little compartments so you can add like the, um, detergent and that kind of stuff. You guys, there's not a washer or a dryer in this RV. And originally we were thinking that the timing was gonna line up with the basement completion. It's gonna have a nice laundry room in there, but that is being delayed a little bit. So it's gonna be like another six weeks, two months, something like that, uh, that we will not have a laundry room. And so we are gonna be needing to take clothes over to a laundry mat, which is not a big deal. There's one like five minutes away, um, but it's just, you know, having to store all the clothes and make sure that you bring the laundry detergent and all of that. So I like this one that I found off of Amazon because it's got like a really thick handle here and some straps, you could carry it like a backpack. Um, a lot of space in here. And then just having those compartments to bring all the other stuff. So it's just all self-contained. And then when you're not using it, you just roll it up and put it in a drawer or put it away somewhere. Very compact, which again, is so good for an RV. And then a big one for this RV is just lots of different baskets and buckets and things to store things, um, really maximizing on the um, cabinet space and that kind of stuff. And so. Um, for the bathroom, I already put most of the stuff away and I will be showing you guys when we do the RV like home tour Probably next week. We'll be ready to do that. I already organized the bathroom yesterday And so everything looks so good. It's got its own places um, And I used a lot of these kinds of little plastic bins from Target They had lots of different colors and sizes and so I just bought a ton of different shapes and sizes on those and Everything fits perfectly. I have like one other big tub of things that we might need at some point, but we're not gonna use on a regular basis. So I put all those products 
in a big tub that is stored underneath the RV so we can pull that stuff out if we need to. Um, but everything that we use on a daily basis is fitting in all of the little baskets that go into the bathroom. And there's some good storage in there. I'll show you guys when we do the home tour, but I'm just really glad that everything kind of fit there. And also just having the two bathrooms so that we have one for most of the kids over here and a lot of the girls will just share uh, with us over here. And so we can have both spaces and everything that we need and even a few things that we don't necessarily need, but we enjoy fits and so I'm really thankful for that and then I really really love these baskets there are like eight or ten of them that we put into our really deep pantry there there is some good space in the pantry so that's really nice but we needed to make sure that we could stay organized with that so we have a bunch of these kinds of baskets I like that it's kind of open here can you guys see so it's easy to kind of just reach in and pull stuff out instead of having to like pull the whole basket out um, there are handles here I've seen it where you could I think like hang it maybe but we just put them on the shelf you can put your apples, your oranges, your snacks, all that. Just stay really organized. And again, I just love that it's kind of open in the front. So those are coming in very, very handy. These were also on Amazon. I think you get them in a pack of like four or six. And then we got like two packs of them. So um, yeah, I really, really like these a lot. They're pretty heavy duty, pretty sturdy. They seem like really good quality. So I'll link those down below too for anybody that's interested. But these are definitely great for the pantry. And then a lot of you guys were saying, don't forget to utilize the space uh, behind the doors. You can hang stuff over there. And so we found some of those where it's, I think basically just like a shoe hanging rack type thing. Um, I love the hangers, but they just, they attach here. The hangers attach to the top of the door here. I left those on the door because we had already put it up. But um, then you have a ton of these little cubbies here that you can store things. And so this is actually on the back of the kids' bathroom door. So they can put their products, they can put their hair gel, they can put hairbrushes or makeup or any of the things that they need. Um, so this is really great. We actually haven't gone through this stuff for um, a lot of the, the kids' room stuff. So we've like organized some clothes and the Legos. <laughs> That was a big one, um, but I'm glad that we have this extra space here. So any other things that they want to bring in or that they use on a regular basis, we'll have like easy access to that where they can just put it. It stays off the floor um, and can stay a little bit more organized. I don't know if you guys could see from there, but we have the fireplace going right now, which actually does put off a good amount of heat. It is an electric fireplace, obviously, but the heat comes off of the top right there and it's keeping us quite cozy. Every time I walk by, I'm like, ooh, that feels good. So I am still waiting on a new pressure cooker that I ordered. And you guys know we use our Instant Pot a lot, and especially in the RV, it's really great to have on hand. But we had gotten this standard size one, which is great if you're wanting to make some rice or some sides or that kind of thing. Um, but for a family of nine, I really needed it to be a little bit bigger. I think that one was a six quart. And I know that they make bigger ones. And so it's not the Instant Pot brand. I think it's the Crock Pot brand, but it was a, a bigger one that we could just really feed the whole family, still have leftovers, which is great for lunches and that kind of thing. It's supposed to be coming in today. It was supposed to come in yesterday, um, but it's supposed to be here any minute now. So if I get it in today, I can just include some B-roll to show you guys. I got this one off of Amazon, but I've seen it everywhere. Um, but a really nice big pressure cooker for a family our size comes in handy for sure. And so I haven't been able to test that one out yet, but I wanted to go ahead and include it here because I feel like that is going to be so helpful with making, especially like soups and stews and um, that kind of thing. It's getting really cold here this week. It's the first week that it's actually pretty chilly. Like it feels nice right now with the sun out, but it was really cold last night. We had to actually turn off the water so that the pipes wouldn't freeze and that kind of thing. And our, our RV is winterized. And so that's really good. Um, but it's starting to get cold and so I'm just trying to kind of get in that mindset of like soups and stews and casseroles and just easy things that we can whip up and so having a really nice big pressure cooker is going to be really handy. And also you guys know that we are Christmas fanatics. We love Christmas. We love decorating for Christmas. We're definitely going to be doing a decorating for Christmas RV edition video this year. Um, but we have to get a little creative because we have very limited space and so we're not going to be able to put up a big Christmas tree. Although a lot of you guys were saying we should get like a little Charlie Brown Christmas tree that we could put, we could put outside. And so I love that idea. Um, and so I was actually at Target the other day and of course they're getting out all of their Christmas stuff and oh, it's so, I'm just so excited and so ready to decorate. And so um, there's a few things that I picked up that I thought would be really functional in a small space like this um, that we can still kind of be in the festive 
kind of holiday mood uh, without taking up a lot of space. So I wanna show you those things I picked up. So the first thing I got is some of these holiday plates. This is the Magnolia line, um, which I love. And so obviously we're gonna be using plates anyways. And so this is one way that we could kind of have that festive kind of decor without taking up more space than we are already using. And so I love the idea of just having a bunch of these. They're not breakable, so it's really kid friendly. And so we can just use these the next few months throughout uh, all the holiday season. And so I really, really like that. I love the plaid print as well. The Magnolia line has just so many pretty things. And so I was like, you know what? That would be perfect. We're obviously using some like paper plates and stuff to just not have to do dishes constantly, but we're trying to minimize that obviously. Um, it's not the best to use that all the time. And so um, definitely having some reusable plates like this is gonna be uh, really great to use on a daily basis. And then along that line, also just having some hand towels and oven mitts and that kind of thing. We're gonna be using those anyways. And so having some that are holiday themed, just to kind of get you into that mood. We're in a very small space. And so pretty much anywhere you are in the RV, you're gonna be able to see the kitchen. It's the heart of the home. And so just having some things out, like just basic towels and stuff that are festive. Yeah, Linky. Um, is obviously going to help with the whole holiday cheer and feel and mood. So I really wanted to pick up a couple things like that. And then also on the holiday theme, we have these cute little wreaths that are super lightweight so they could actually hang up here. I don't know if you guys can see right here. Babe, will you hold it up for a second? Yeah. Up here, a little bit more. There you go. See, there's a space up here where we could put stuff. So that would actually be a great place to be able to hang some little wreaths and some garland and things that are really lightweight because obviously the walls ah. in the RV are not quite ah. the same ah. as regular walls and so we don't want to put anything heavy ah. on them. Yeah, Lincoln. Ah. He hit his knee. Oh, did you bump your knee? I'm mm. sorry. But yes, just some lightweight things that can go on the walls. That is a way to not take up space but still have some decorations. Well, so Yes, baby. Ah. Ah. Hi. I think you're about ready for a nap time. Do you want a nap? I was trying to show you, you hit his knee. You did, you hit your <laughs> knee. I'm so sorry. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys about, but I've already put it together, so I can't really like show you. I'll show you the box of the one that we ordered, but we had a really hard time finding a mattress topper for our RV mattress, which RV mattresses are not, you know, the greatest. Um, and they're also a weird size. So uh, we were needing to find a mattress topper that was going to make this a lot more comfortable since we're gonna be sleeping on it every day. It's not just like a few days of camping here and there. Um, and we actually ordered two different ones that were terrible and we sent them back. And I was getting a little nervous. Like I didn't know if we were gonna find something that was gonna make us you know, be comfortable in this space. And then I ended up picking up one um, at Target that was really, really good. I'll show you like a snapshot of the one that I picked up. But I have literally not had any back problems whatsoever which is something I struggle with. Um, and I've just been having such a good night's sleep. And last one I wanted to mention, which also has not come in yet, but I'm really excited about is some flannel sheets for our bed. And again, it's getting really cold. And in our room, I'll show you when we do the RV tour, but in our room, the bed is on one of the slides. So it kind of slides out. So it's a little bit more, it's not exposed, but it, it gets colder. And so I wanted to have some really warm, cozy flannel sheets. And so I found these, that I think it's Eddie Bauer brand, but they're plaid and they're super cute and neutral. And so they'll go with everything. We can you know, use them for Christmas, but we can also use them when it's not Christmas. And so those are supposed to come in today as well. I can show you a picture of that. I also got those from Target, but um, I'm super excited about that. So everyone's got some really cozy bedding, which is really important when you're in an RV, just trying to maximize on comfort, because if you're having to give up space, um, you can try to make up for it in other ways, just having really comfortable beds and, um, what are you eating? Are you eating my toast? You are eating my toast, here. <laughs> Mama wanted to finish that. Lincoln approves of the toast, guys. So. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this segment of the video because we have a lot going on here and I don't want my toast eaten before we finish this video. Um, oh, it's so good, so good. Oh, Steven, you know what we should tell them about though? Is the, which we talked about in a vlog before, but is our, um, our Dyson. So guys, this is not sponsored, but we did do a sponsored video with Dyson where they did give us um, a couple of really amazing vacuums mm -hmm. and this is their super lightweight small one and it has been perfect for this space. I have fallen in love with this thing even more. It's so easy to maneuver. It swivels, it's bagless, it charges really easily with a little um, charger that plugs into the wall here but it is a game changer because we're honestly having to vacuum like 
two or three times a day because dirt gets tracked in really easily and so we're wanting to keep the space really clean and tidy and so I needed something that was just like super easy to to use and this has been this is my favorite vacuum I think we've ever had and that's no joke and so um, it's also just perfect for small spaces and so I love 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 this thing it honestly would make a really good Christmas present and I know some people get funny about that stuff like appliances and that kind of thing for Christmas presents but for me personally I love getting stuff like that that I personally wouldn't like splurge on necessarily but that I really want and so this is one of those things that I have just loved so much. And the kids love it too. They actually, they're like, Mom, can I use it? And they're doing it for me too, so. How I wonder what you are. Good job. He's singing a lot. He gets in it. He goes like, I'll steal wonder on it. Yeah, you're singing good, Lincoln. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight. <laughs> He's like, thanks, Dad. We're gonna have a good night. <laughs> Ooh <-hoo>. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, Ensign. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> good dancing. Well, come to think of it, kid, honestly, I could go on and on. I can't explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground, all oh, that was not we just messed on around. I can tell you, I've never been to say, but I don't a little escape artist it's like who needs a nap time when we can just bye. go play <laughs> bye <laughs> bye he's <laughs> like i've decided go bye go like go go <laughs> i've decided go, to skip my nap time go, and i'm go. just gonna go play <laughs> lincoln come back come back buddy run run lincoln daddy's gotta take you to town where are you going where do you think you're going <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Independent, Mr. No Nap, look at you running, we didn't know if you were going to walk ever, now you're running, <laughs> go back that way now, <laughs> go back, go back, where do you think you're going? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hey! This is perfect timing. Look, the bus just dropped Ethan off. Oh my gosh. Hey, Ethan! Who is that? <laughs> he's trying to run away. He didn't want to take a nap, so he's just been walking. Say hi. Oh, <laughs> Lincoln, no! <laughs> hi, buddy. Did you have a good day at school? Good. Ooh, it's a little chilly in the wind, huh? Yeah. You feel the sunshine? So that feels good. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous day, guys. It feels so nice and crisp and chilly and the sun on our faces. Ooh, that's bright. This is my perfect kind of day. It's a quiet day at home with my babies. 
The children coming home from school. I can hold it for you. I'm so, so, so grateful. <laughs> Somebody is slowing down. That's good. Aww. Big hugs. Ethan had a good day at school. He's telling me all about it. That's good. I think he's like, I need a hug too. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Group hug. <laughs> I love it. Did you just toot on me? Lincoln <laughs> <laughs> just tooted on me. Maybe that's the reason. He was like, pick me up so I can toot on you. I think he is maybe ready for nap time now. Yeah, so. Maybe. He was real fast there for a while. Guys, I'm always amazed at how like thorough and thoughtful Amanda is and just finding all the things that we need, like things that I would never think of in my life that would just like make our lives so much easier and more productive and just, oh, oh thanks buddy. <laughs> it's just like her superpower, I feel like. like I think moms in general just, <laughs> they know that it's like make or break, like you have to get organized. <laughs> At least in some capacity, or it's just gonna be total it's chaos. It's so great, guys. And I'm not the most organized person, but we really complement each other well because she's very yeah. strong in all the areas that I'm not, and I just like feel like she's a superhero. So anyway, we are just waiting for the big kids to get off the bus, and uh, then we're gonna spend a little bit of time together, taking them to go see the Eternals tonight. And you guys know that we're like Marvel fanatics, like anything Marvel, <laughs> Avengers, Spider-Man, yeah. all that stuff. We're big fans, so this is kind of that next big phase of, you know, watching all the hero stuff that we love to do. So yeah. we're going to do that. I know it's got like mixed reviews, but like I'm one to really like to see stuff for myself rather than just make like, you know, I like to make my own decisions because I'm stubborn, you know what I mean? So we're going to go do that. We're going to enjoy that as a family tonight. And yeah. uh, and, and it's good because we get to be out of the RV and yeah. I do feel like it's been very manageable because the kids are in school until almost four yeah. o'clock or till four o'clock is when they get home yeah. Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, we're usually out doing things. And so yeah. we're not spending a ton of time in the RV. Yeah. The only time that would happen is when it's rainy and thankfully it's beautiful again. So yeah, last week was um, terrible. It rained all week, but now it's yeah. like gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So. Yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, just trying to find those ways to do that so the kids can be playing outside yeah. a bunch or we can go do things. And, and this so. weekend we're actually taking them to Gigi and Papa's house yes. because we're taking Reese to Biltmore for her 18th birthday. That was kind of her thing she really wanted to do. We're only like four hours away and we've been wanting to do this for like years. Yeah. So. And Reese too. She was like, so we've, we've started a new tradition. You guys know uh, when our kids turn 13 and become teenagers, yeah. we take them on a special trip. It's been Steven historically that has taken the kids for like a weekend trip somewhere. Yeah. And we decided that when they turn 18, we both want to be able to take them yeah. uh, on a trip. And so Reese picked Biltmore, which is yeah. great. And it's, you know, within driving distance. So the kids can go to their grandparents for the weekend. And we're going to go with Reese and yeah. just enjoy a few days um, touring the whole yeah. area. And Biltmore is just amazing. So. And I'm just serious. I honestly looking so, so forward to like getting to spend so much time with Reese because you know as kids get older like get so busy and like mm -hmm. it's a lot harder to have that same quality time that you used to have with them and so yeah. I think it's going to be really cool for Amanda and me to be able to spend the whole weekend with Reese just kind of doing things just the three of us yeah and just that idea that you know like when they turn 18 obviously they're not like officially an adult and they She's leave and they're never adult. back yeah <laughs> it's so crazy yeah but like just that kind of that idea of like us as parents getting to do something special that involves quality time with your yeah. child at such a big milestone so yeah. um i'm very grateful to be able to do that this weekend yeah. so that's gonna be really really fun we are going to vlog a little bit of that i know we told you that we didn't vlog on her birthday she just wanted yeah. to have a really quiet day which ah! I, I love that <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah but both i think she wanted to take some footage um of biltmore and we will as well i think yeah, just have sure. some um, we're going to try to just really be in the moment and stuff, but just kind of capturing little snippets here and there. Yeah. We're going snippets. like... I don't know if I've ever used that word. Snippets. snippets. It's like a... Snippets. <laughs> sounds like something from Willy Wonka, but we're going to do like horseback riding. There's like an immersive Van Gogh experience that looks amazing. And the like Christmas and candlelight tour of Christmassy. Biltmore. Ooh, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. We're staying at the inn, which is like there on the property. Yeah. A lot of you guys sent in on Instagram because I posted about it. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, a buddy. lot of you guys sent You're in. You're so crazy, You're buddy. so happy. <laughs> um, just tips and stuff because I know it's like such a big experience. It can take days and days just to see everything. So um, we're excited for our first experience and we'll definitely show you yeah, a little bit of that. So absolutely. Just going to wait for the kids and yeah. then enjoy the evening. 
but um, I wanted to do something a little different like this today, just kind of show you like how we're managing and some yeah. of the things that we got because it is such a difference like moving from a yeah. big house to a little RV and how you make that work. It's and a big transition. Since that's it's the number one question that we've gotten is how are you making this work? How are yeah. you managing? Um, I was like, well, we could just kind of show a few things that are like made it a little bit easier yeah. or just... You know, we obviously are still very much newbies, and so we're going to be learning a lot along the way. But for sure, um, this is—I feel like it's been a pretty good start. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Here come the big kids! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you guys are crazy. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Oh yeah, hi mom. Hi. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. hi mom. I'll give you a gentle hug. <laughs> We're gentle people. Gentle, <laughs> gentle. <laughs> Stephen and Penelope used to roughhouse all the time when we first met her in China. That was the way that Stephen would help her, like you know, just feel more comfortable around yeah. us. And I just remember her always trying to like karate chop. Ninja you, like, chop. She had those totally me talons that. that would just claw. She had pretty sharp nails at the time too. Yeah, for sure. What's up, dudes? He's over there. And he was screaming and laughing, coming. And, and I thought he was coming towards me, but he went to Lima instead. Oh. <laughs> He's been running all over the place. Hilarious. Come here, boy. Oh. So we miss you guys. Group hug. Oh, fall down. For your name's sake, you will lead me back home to you. God, for your name's sake, you will leave.